Welcome to this episode of That's Good Science, where we celebrate scientists who travel the world to make it a healthier place. Today, we focus on a team that's solving a mosquito problem with a riddle, that is R-I-D-L, release of insects carrying a dominant lethal genetic system. The idea behind Riddle is to turn male mosquitoes into the insect version of a Trojan horse. The eggs of lab-raised mosquitoes are released into the wild where the emerging males search out local breeding sites. But hidden deep in their genetic material is a gene that dooms their female offspring to a life without wings. The net result, if all works as expected, is species-specific incapacitation of female mosquitoes in regions with a high incidence of dengue fever. The trick is to raise mosquitoes that are carrying an effectively lethal gene. Dr. Luke Alfie and his colleagues used the TET-OFF system to place a critical gene under the tight control of tetracycline responsive transcriptional activator. The engineered mosquitoes are raised in the lab on a diet that includes tetracycline, ensuring that the gene remains off. In the field, where the mosquitoes are not exposed to tetracycline, the gene turns on and female progeny don't develop wings. As a result, they struggle to escape the water after emerging as adults. Those that do escape cannot feast on human blood, nor can they attract mates without their wing song. Initial field tests in the Grand Cayman Islands showed that 80% reduction in the mosquito population compared to control areas, suggesting that Riddle can wrap up the enigma of vector control. And that's good science.